like stock basic um, didn't want to go too crazy with it it is based off uh, like the look is based off of the real life look of the car uh, you know I tried giving it like a similar orange uh, with the black top uh, the wheels are stock maybe I, I mean I, I, I painted them and then I was like I didn't like it uh, so I went back it is a nice car though Obviously it's electric, so there's no, you know, maybe I might change the look of this car. Um, I'm still not too certain. I'm not certain. But, you know, it's not too bad. Basic. I probably, I probably might uh, update this car as well. Not gonna lie. Give it like a nice just looked good to my eye. 
guys at the time, uh, this used to be, I gave this like a, a metal color, like a metal silver. Shut up, Franklin. I gave it like a metal silver. Let me actually lower the volume because uh, it's going to be loud. And I had that for like the longest time. And I don't know, I just wanted to do something different, so I gave it this yellow instead. So let's pop in this car. My arcade save is full. But, uh, I don't know, it just, it just, this yellow just, it made it stand out. And, you know, it was different. Yellow in this game doesn't really fit on a lot of cars. And this one, in my personal opinion, it just kind of fit. I don't know why. Um, I don't really drive this car too much. Um, it, it does look pretty nice, though. Like, they did a really good job with making it look like the real life counterpart. And, but the customization option just isn't. It's kind of lackluster for this car. They, uh, not too many. Um, you know, for the price point, uh, it's not really worth it. Uh, I, I personally would not recommend buying this car. Unless if you have the cash, then, you know, go for it. Buy whatever you want. But, uh, you know, they're definitely better looking cars and cars that cost lot less that have significantly more customization options to it with better performance too I, I might add but yeah that's the Bifster 811 let's go back to the garage move on to the next car spoil too much. Up next, we've got the Bravado Buffalo EVX. Now this car, I made a video on when it did come out a while back. I think it's based off of the uh, Dodge, the Challenger, the, the brand new one uh, that came out, the EV one, that was very controversial. Uh, I tried to similar. Um, I purchased this from the Super Auto store. That's why it has the, uh, the black rims. I gave it a matte black. It's a matte black color with a ice white or frost white pearlescent. Trying to give it like a similar color to the real life, the real life version of this car. It's got that red interior, which, you know, uh, if you know me, I'm a, I'm a sucker for red interiors. I don't know why. Um, probably because I was close to buying a car that was, like, it was, like, fully black on the outside with red interior. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm a sucker for red interior. Let's hop in this car. This car is a muscle car, right? So it can indeed do wheelie. And man, now the car is scratched, but that's okay. Um, honestly, this car looks really nice. Uh, I do dig the looks. I think Rockstar did a really good job. The customization option for this car, if I don't remember correctly, was okay. Like, it wasn't crazy, you know. Uh, considering how much this vehicle costs, is it worth it? I mean, for a muscle car, like, it's fast. Uh, it's faster than almost, like, all the muscle cars, definitely. Uh, but it still handles like a muscle car. Say get the Dodge Charger, the 
not this one, but the four door one thing with the money tech. That one is probably the best muscle car in the game. You know, just in terms of overall value that you get. Uh, but hey, you know, it is a challenger. And, uh, you know, it does look pretty nice. But yeah, man, I love these matte colors in this game with the burlesque on them. I think, I think they look fantastic. Really pops, especially in the daytime. So let's put this bad boy back. Interior is not bad too, actually, for this car. Uh, I think rock, like it looks really, really nice. Let me take a look at the interior one last time. Yeah, like I'm really liking those checkered flag stitching around. I think uh, Rockstar did a really good job with this. With this vehicle. Next up, we've got the Vapid Dominator GT. Uh, this one is pretty much the Vapid Dominator, but uh, the convertible. Can I go through there? I cannot. I'm positive it's the, you know, it's the Mustang. And uh, I honestly like this car too. I, I really like the Mustang GT in real life. Mainly because of Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, I gave this like a same matte white with a ice white or I think I think it's a diamond blue pearlescent. Diamond blue pearlescent with uh, a matte white just looks really nice. Uh, it's got this black stripe livery. And it's got those nice gigantic rims with a gigantic spoiler. I'm a sucker for spoilers on Mustangs, man. Honestly, I wish they had this car. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same as the previous Babbit Dominator. But I don't know. Like, that one didn't have the same customization options as this one. This one, in my opinion, had better. Customization options than the previous Vapid Dominator. But let's hop in. Uh, interior is the same interior as uh, interior, same interior as the which one? Uh, the uh, Dodge Challenger uh, Crosser Bus, except it's a lot more bland. You know, the other one had like cool stripes, trigger and stuff. Yeah, this one is not too bad. Uh, I like that quad exhaust. It sounds really nice. Uh, it, it handles pretty good for a muscle car. It handles pretty well for a muscle car. See what it looks like with the top on. too bad, but I honestly preferred with the top down. That is pretty sick. Dude, I really wonder how detailed GT6 is going to be, but anyway. Yeah, what I say, is this car worth it? You know what? I say, I would say it is. Uh, it is a really good looking car if you, if you like Mustangs. Some good customization options for this car too. Like I made it like this crazy souped up Mustang. Like and I wish this was on the previous Mustang. The lights look nice. I just wish all of them fell down instead of just that one. The hood looks, in my opinion, really nice. I just I really like this car. I really like this car. Yeah, man, if you got the money, I would definitely buy this. This is a muscle car. Yeah, so can't do really. But yeah, that's the Babbit Dominator GT. Classy Figaro 
LCX convertible. Now this is literally just a D-Classy Vaquero CX, but just the convertible is the, is the exact same car. It's got the exact same customization options. So it's nothing too crazy, but you know, it was a new car, so I got it. I made a video on it. Um, I gave it this, I think it's like a lava red, but like a modded. It's like a modded orange, like a bright orange. I have to find the video. And um, it's got a pearlescent, I think, I want to say a race yellow. I think it's a race yellow pearlescent to give it like this like nice lava red look. And I believe I added a, I added a uh, metal base to it. So you can make your crew colors look extra shiny if you add a metal base. So you go to the metal paint job, you buy one, and then I think it's got a gold base. That's what, yeah, yeah, it's got a gold one. It's got, it's got gold metal, like a brushed gold or something like that, or aluminum gold. I forgot which one. And then uh, I applied the crew color, and then I applied the pearlescent, and then it doesn't happen right away. But the next day, when you log on to G or like the next time you go to like a new server, uh, it gives it like this like cool shiny metal look to the crew color. It looks really nice. But yeah, I I I also like this card as well. I like the look of it. Let's see what it looks like with the I forgot to tint the windows. What the oh typical GTA. Yeah, uh, it looks really nice uh, in the daytime, and it also looks really nice at night as well. Color really pops. But man, uh, this is also one of my favorite cars. At least the non-convertible one is my favorite. One of my favorite cars in the game. It just looks, sounds beautiful. This one it is equally as beautiful, minus a couple points, because I'm not the biggest fan of convertibles. But yeah, I still think it looks nice. Probably gonna reorganize some of these some of these garages because the new cars are out. Or I won't. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure something out. I am running out of room. I am running out of room, so I might sell some cars, honestly. Alright, but that's the D-Classy Vicaro CX Convertible. Very nice looking car. Very nice looking car indeed. Next up, we got the Trevate Thrax. Now, I already have this car. Uh, but this one was the podium vehicle uh, in the casino. And after, like, I think it was like the fourth day of the week. So it was like a Tuesday. Uh, I just spun the lucky wheel and I got it. And it was in this exact same color pattern with this, you know, everything is the stock basically for this car. Except for the tuning. And uh, I wish the iFruit app existed so I could change the color of these wheels to black. Uh, I thought, you know, it looked really good, the uh, the base color that the Rockstar gave this car. It, it looked really good, so I kept it like that. Uh, so it's, it's literally just, I think, black secondary, uh, gray matte with a yellow, with, I think it's a livery. Yeah, it's a yellow livery. So it, it very much fit the design. Just take it out for a spin out of tradition. There's a guy with the guitar. But yeah, man, a very basic car. Um, it's kind of like my race car version of the Thrax. I might 
mind it is not like a tur it's like a I think it's like a like an orange maybe like an orange or something but I think it does look really nice I really like it um, I forgot which person I added on this thing now how's the interior it's got the adder interior, so nothing too crazy. Uh, but man, I, I, I do like this car. Oh, oh I was close. Um, I made more like a race car, obviously. Uh, this car is fast. It doesn't handle as well as the Italian. This one definitely, you know, likes to slide a bit. Um, uh, but nonetheless, uh, in terms of looks, it's definitely my favorite car in that garage. I really, really like it. Oh, sh sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just hitting this car all over the place. But, um, yeah, man. Why didn't I do this with the cars? I don't know why, but where is it? Service vehicle? Nope, not that. Where is it? Manage vehicles. Remote control? No. Vehicle preferences. Very nice looking engine bay. That is a very nice looking engine bay. Well, let's go. I should. I should have done that with all the other cars. Don't know why I didn't. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video's garage tour. Let me do like a car ranking. Honestly, in terms of car ranking, like in terms of just looks, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. This. But after driving this one, it just, so, that, this would be my number one. Uh, this would be my number two. This would be my number three. And uh, I guess my number four would be the Mustang in the back. Then number five. Number five is probably the Trevade. I really like this. And the rest don't matter. It will over there. I'm probably going to sell this car for the new car, one of the, one of the new cars that came out. And I'm probably going to change this vehicle, maybe upgrade it. Like, just change the look. I'm not too sure. Or maybe I'll keep it like this. Who knows? Uh, I kind of like it like this, actually. Uh, but anyways, yeah. That's going to be the end of the video. Uh, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, please feel, uh, let me know down in the comments which car in this garage has been your personal favorite. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in.